Our Earth is unique in the solar system in that it has water, mostly salty seawater, covering 71% of the planet's surface. Only 0.024% of Earth's water is fresh liquid water. It is chemically unique. Our lives depend on it. We have no substitute for it. Fortunately, nature recycles and purifies fresh water as long as it isn't interfered with, overdrawn, or overloaded with pollutants. Undisturbed wetlands absorb and hold overflows of water, controlling flooding. Yet human activities are polluting our water supplies, and we are using fresh water faster than nature can replace it. We've cleared vegetation for roads, agriculture, and mining, covered the land with buildings and pavement, and drained and filled wetlands for farming and urban development. These human activities have resulted in less groundwater recharging, more floods, and more concentrated pollutants flowing into our rivers, lakes, and oceans. The human population tripled during the 20th century, and we've increased water withdrawals sevenfold. Globally, 783 million people do not have access to safe drinking water. In part, this is due to the fact that fresh water is not distributed evenly across the planet. We also waste the fresh water we have. According to the World Resources Institute, 66% of the water that people use throughout the world is unnecessarily wasted. Approximately 50% of the fresh water used in the U.S. is unnecessarily wasted. One of the ways California is able to provide fresh water to water-scarce areas is the California State Water Project, a huge water transfer project of dams, canals, and pumps, one of the largest in the world. California produces one-third of the nation's vegetables and two-thirds of the country's fruits and nuts. Yet the state is projected to run out of surface water in one year, according to NASA. This year, snowpack in the Sierra Nevadas is just 5% of average. These mountains usually store up to half of the state's water. Water available for irrigation is declining. The salinization of soil is increasing and becoming more widespread, and many farmers are finding it financially impossible to irrigate their crops. Certain government subsidies encourage an increase in crops grown in arid lands, such as water-thirsty almonds and alfalfa. Considering the seriousness of these problems, we may ask ourselves, how can one individual make a difference? What solutions are working? What have people done to advance water conservation in California? The purpose of our program is to present possible solutions to these problems from our panel of experts.